It recognises BSL as a language in legal statute, so it's got legal uh, underpinning. It requires the government to re uh, report on how it's using BSL in its communications with the public throughout all departments. And it requires um, government to produce guidance for every ministerial department to make sure that they're using BSL through ministry. Actually, what it does, it opens the door and allows every deaf person to say, this is not good enough. Uh, and also, you know, via these reports and FOI, to see where the government's failing and to actually insist on their rights. I say to everybody, my, the minute it became law, my job was done and it was over to them to make sure they made this law work. And tell me why you chose. So you've got this once, well, I mean, Liam Fox has been drawn twice in two consecutive years, but, but you know, I never got drawn uh, in my decade as an MP. So it could be this once in, in a lifetime, your parliamentary lifetime, chance to change the law. Why did you choose British Sign Language? Well, BSL um, my, is my first language. Both my parents were deaf. My dad was born deaf. My mum went deaf when she was four. Um, I, I've been campaigning for this throughout my, uh, well, throughout my whole career. Um, in 20, uh, uh, early 27, 8, I, I, I was talking to the then Prime Minister, Gordon Brown, about it. Labour recognised um, the, the language in 2013. But unfortunately, that's all it that's all that happened we didn't um get any rights and responsibilities behind it um so i wanted to make that happen um in truth we also besides the strategic part of it uh, we did have a bit of luck as well when i put that bill in in june who would have predicted that within that year we'd have had a strictly winner a deaf oscar winner um, and thousands of people because of that wanting to learn sign language um it was st strategic, but it was also opportune. This is a, a social justice bill. Um, BSL is a, a bill that's time has now come.